Hey guys, Crewman here. And in this video, I want to talk about Zealous. Now, Rago Miner has released its third implementation of Zealous in 1.17.2. And the thing I want to talk about is if you look at the first iteration of Rago Miner, we started at about 130 kilohash on 3070. Now we're up to about 200 kilohash on 3070. And with this comes increased power numbers. You know, we started at about 105 watts when rigo miner first released and now we're at about 120 to 130 watts ish so we're starting to get towards triple mining uh ergo and like a uh, pyram hash coin power levels and you know if he pushes the performance even further we end up with like 140 watts we're kind of creeping up to kapow numbers even if it's like 135 ish watts now the power fluctuation is a lot lower which is nice but the overclocking is slightly, and I mean ever so slightly different, which is the point of this video. I want to share with you some of the testing that I've done and share my thoughts on how to properly overclock the 30 series and most of the 40 series. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see right here on this chart everywhere, uh, I took some time today to compile what I thought would be the best settings for some graphics cards. Now, I did mostly the 3000 series, uh, but I did do some 4000 series testing. So let's start with the 3000 series. So the first thing you can see right here is I took a 3070 on a single test bench. And I want you to notice that some have power readings at the wall, some of these, and some don't as I only have one PMD. Uh, so you'll see that the settings in green are the ones that I would prefer to use and the ones in yellow are like viable alternatives. So basically the biggest thing I want to go over is that it seems like the biggest change in hash rate is when you change the memory clock lock. If you notice here, you can see the difference from when I went from say, uh, 6,001 all the way down to 5,001. You see, I started at about 203 and I got it as low as 168. Now, another thing I do want to talk about is you theoretically, if you really, really care about efficiency and you really need to save like 15 to 20 watts per GPU, you can not even set a memory lock or a memory offset. And I thought that was interesting. And I asked Rigel Miner about it or every new release, it seems that the OCing changes slightly. And I asked him about it, and his response was, it depends on the card, I guess, whether the memory is a, is a bottleneck or not. If memory is fast enough relatively to the GPU's compute resources, then changing the memory clock wouldn't affect the hash rate by as much, by much as you observed. But it may change as I tweak the algo implementation, which basically is just him saying that you know, if you have a card that has a pretty good memory bus, you know, like the 30 series, most of the 30 series, and, you know, some of the 40 series, then you won't really see much uh, change if you're messing with the memory clock lock and the memory clock offset. Now, you notice you definitely won't get the best hash, especially on a uh, 3070, uh, as I have basically my entire farm at this green setting with maybe a few GPUs at this one of the, at this bottom yellow setting um just because i they, they can't hold as high of a memory offset because they're just not as well binned the only thing that ma that seems to matter the most is the core clock lock and the core offset with the memory clock lock and the offset allowing you to get just that little extra in power while not losing efficiency now obviously it's going to use more power so that's something to consider now we move on to my 3060 Ti. I took my only 12 card rig and I did a I played with a bunch of settings. Now I really don't like the 3060 Ti uh, on this algorithm. It just it's not as efficient as you can see uh, right here. Uh, I'm assuming the power at the software at the wall is probably somewhere between the 111 and the 117 range. Um, again, I tried to push it harder, but I just I think this is basically the hardest you're going to be able to push it right now as it does not have as good of a core and this algorithm does use a little bit of core. So I think that's where we're seeing the, um, the hash rate drop off here. Uh, I wanted to do a Hynix memory one as well. And obviously, as we all know, Hynix does not 
does a Hynix 3060 Ti's are not as good. And I put this one on the PMD and you can see the settings that I got. Basically just inferior all around as every you know as everybody knows. And you will note that the efficiency is lower on the 3060 Ti on Hynix. I only did two tests with that. I just like I said Hynix is bad. You can see I moved on to the 3060, the 3080 and the 3090. 3080, 3090, 3060 is the order they're on here. Now I only have one of each and this is what I was able to get them to before I had crashes. Um, now I did notice that the 3090 is basically one of the high is is higher than the 170HX and I asked Rigel about that and he explained it this way. He said my explanation would be 3090 isn't bottlenecked by the memory speed it's in parentheses is probably well balanced so 170 ajax having less compute resources is underutilizing its faster memory so he he's more technical than me about that about the that so i uh, i thanked him for that response and i definitely think it's interesting to note that the 170 ajax is not doing as well now let me move my big beautiful head I moved on to the 4060 Ti. Um, now, generally, the 4060 Ti's overclock the same as the 4070s and above, but you would have a higher memory offset because they have more powerful memory bus, and you might want to use a memory clock lock to improve your overclocks. Now, I didn't and didn't have any issues, but I didn't really push the 40 series as I just didn't feel the need to, to individually tweak every single one. But that is where I, I would start at these settings, and I would start messing with a memory clock lock on the higher algorithms. But I did do a lot of tweaking on the 4060 Ti's because I have 15 of them. So you'll notice these are my best settings. I don't have a memory, uh, memory clock lock, and you will notice that Hynix is actually better than Samsung. You'll notice that at... 5001 they actually behave quite the same it's only at 6001 that they start to uh, diverge again which i don't know how to explain it i just thought it was interesting so yeah these the ones in green are the settings i would use for the 4060 ti both samsung and hynix and like i said this is a reverse where hynix 4060 ti's generally are better um again if you're gonna try with the other 40 series I would start with these settings and I would raise the memory offset to probably 15 or 1600 and then I would see how it goes and maybe attempt to add a core uh, memory core lock of either 6000 or maybe even 7000 depending on how you want to play with it. I didn't mess with mine as I, I liked where they were at and I just didn't feel the need to push them anymore. I have not done any 20 series testing or any 10 series testing. I may screw around with that in a later video just to see what goes on. Um, I have one 2080 Ti but it's not cooperating with me very much. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video and I hope it helps. When you have a new algorithm like this and it the way it the way it's mined with miners changes as in like the hash rate increase just goes through the moon something is being tweaked and when the miners um the miner devs are still kind of learning how to play with the algorithm it behooves you to constantly after every big patch try to understand if there were any changes in the overclocks like i said i think this there's only minor changes here but it's worth noting them and Again, you can look at this chart where I have everything spelled out right here, and I will have everything linked down below. Uh, I continue to use K1 pool, but Viper pool is good as well, and I will put links to both down below along with my K1 pool affiliate link, and I use Hive as well, and I'll have an affiliate link down below. So thank you guys again for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Zealous Needs. Uh, I very much feel confident that I have the best 3070 settings and the best 3060 Ti settings. As far as the 4060 Ti, I think I have the best on that too, as you don't really have much room to play with. But I would argue that my 30 series, my 3080, my 3090, and my 3060 are just starting points. I would probably adjust them from there. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Crew Man, out.